One of the things that I strongly believe in is the opportunity for us as accountants to develop, to grow, and most, important, most importantly though, is to give back. You know, um, Marissa summed up excellently what the experience can be like. It, it definitely is a fabulous experience personally. Um, I have not, I am yet to see an organization who manage their mobility process effectively, who has not also seen improved profits. But also I think it gives each person the opportunity to look around and say, okay, 10 years from now, how do I give back? 20 years from now, how do I change the realities for other young people? And when I saw the topic, actually, that was my end game. Because I, I know everybody, you know, as we think about it, you will see, it will benefit you. You will be benefited. Your family also could be benefited. And of course, your organization. But I think too then what happens or what should happen is as much is given to you, give back something. How do we create the laws? How do we create the opportunities? When you become the CFOs or the audit partners or the managing directors of the organizations in the, in, in the future, how do you then translate the fact that you got this opportunity that you have turned to gold into an opportunity for another young person? And in the Caribbean, I believe that this is an important imperative. You know, it's good to say we're going out. So I'm Jamaican, I'm here in Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm here in Trinidad and Tobago for 10 years. I can't even believe that that is the so, You're um, 20. You're 20. almost, <laughs> I call, I call my home here home. And I remember the first time that happened, it was about four years into this transition. And I told somebody in Jamaica that I'm going home. Listen, I started to cry because I recognized that mentally the shift had happened, you know, so Trinidad and Tobago became home um, for me. And, and, and I'm very happy to call Trinidad and Tobago home. But more importantly too, my long-term goal is, so how do I then prepare other Jamaicans for this rich gift that I've been given? How do I give back to my home um, in terms of the opportunity that they have given to me too? So that's the long-term the long -term goal that I have, and I hope eventually um, it will be yours also. Uh, you know, so even as a Jamaican here in Trinidad and Tobago, um, there is no way, given the passion I have for my profession, and exactly given the fact that I know many of us consider accounting, or many persons outside of us consider accounting as a clerical role, and I know full well the richness of our profession and how we can change lives, and how anybody, a doctor, a lawyer, a judge can sit in front of me and I, within five minutes of listening to them, know exactly what's going on. There's just a story that is told that they do not even have to quote a number, but I understand. And so I wanted, for me, I believe it was important for us to articulate to the world that we are more than you think we are. But I totally agree with Carl's perspective, which is we have to convince them of such. And first, that comes with us having the esteem, the belief that we are, and then starting to do the work accordingly. Thank you.